Okay, guys. Professor David, hey, stop. Pay attention. Got another video for you today. Guys, this one's important. Why? Because a lot of us do not understand what to do when someone is trying to close the distance on us. Most of the time when someone's closing the distance on us and guys try to get up in our face, we do this, we back up. Which is two things. One, it builds their confidence. When they see you back up, in their mind, they're thinking, oh, the dude's afraid of me. And two, you gotta understand the Ten Commandments of Self-Defense, that if he starts to bum rush you, he can move faster forward than you can move backwards. To another level. So I'm gonna bring Kenny in here so you can understand. Now, if this guy's trying to look at the three foot rule, okay? This guy, you're maintaining your ground. Remember, one of the Ten Commandments of self defense who wants who? In knife. Who wants who? Do I want him or do he want me? See, you gotta remember that if I want him, I am the one that's going to break the three foot rule and confront him. I don't want the confrontation. I don't want the fight. I don't want the problem. Let him break it and come to you. Now, I automatically went into my checking. So like I'm checking to measure him up. No one is going to talk to you while your hand is on their body. No one, do you like the way that feels? No one is going to allow you to do that. Now, you might be, do this, come here. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. No one's gonna let you keep your hand on their body and not try to remove your hand from their body. It's just not gonna happen. No one's gonna let you do that. We call it checking. So as he's coming in, you check him to make sure he don't get in headbutt range, okay? I don't want him in headbutt range. So now, you check. You got to be aware if you're right-handed, if you're checking with the right hand or if you're checking with the left. This goes both ways. The guy could check you. If I'm checking him with my left hand, I'm measuring him for my right because I'm powerful on my right side. I'm right-handed. So you got to understand that sometimes if some guy goes like this to you, he's measuring you for that power shot, okay? It's a check. But now we're going to flip the script on him. When you check, whatever you do, do not check with any authority and with any power. That's going to cause him to go nuts. You want to check as lightly as you possibly can. So as he's walking to you talking, or you go, yo, go, calm down, calm down, calm down. You're doing this, why? Calm down, because lightly, I want a reaction. Now he's gonna remove the hand. So he only got two options, really. What are you, you're right-handed. What, you, what do you feel comfortable with? When, what's your, what's your initial, what? Slap your hand off my, with my right hand. It's gonna whack it across me. See, now, if the man's thinking, okay, he's right-handed, he's gonna whack it across, now what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do now? So if he whack your hand across, what are you gonna do after you whack your hand? Are you gonna be like, yo, man, yo, yo, just calm down. Yo, you okay, I won't touch you. I won't touch you, just calm down. Is that what you're gonna do? See, but now you just gave him a second opportunity to hurt you. So, when he whacks that hand, you should anticipate that motion. That motion. You should anticipate that. And you should see that. There's a couple of different ways of dealing with it. If it's winter, or if it's uh, uh, kind of cold outside, and he has on a jacket, as he whacked the hand, Grab the garment. Just grab the garment. Grab the garment that he whacks the hand with. Why? His initial reaction will be to pull back. He's still not thinking about engaging you. 
So he moved it. I grabbed the garment. Now that allows me to do a high-low concept. You see, this doesn't matter what system you practice, what art you practice. This is getting and giving you an opportunity to do your art. You check, he do this. Now, see here's my, my way of thinking is the second I grab this hand, I'm going to go low first. I'm going to go right in between his legs. Right in between his legs. You see, and now that opens me up to shock in the face and then maneuvering to pull out my weapon if I have a weapon. Okay? Now, what if summertime? So I don't want to take a chance on grabbing or trying to grab because he can slip. So as he did this, what I did was push, I let the hand come underneath. Watch this. Watch this. Under. And I grabbed the muscle. Now, I'm not going to go low. Because I did that circular motion movement, circular motion movement, I did the circular motion movement. Both hands, like you're hitting a speed bag, will do the circular motion movement. Once I do this, boom, I just strike. Watch it from the side. Watch it from here. Once I did this circular motion, boom. This one moves in a circle. This one moves in a circle. Moves in a circle. This one moves in a circle. So now, everything moves in a circle. Woo. And I lock him up. And here I can work. I'm moving in a circular motion movement. He moves. Boom, 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 check. Here, boom, kneecap, whack, I move. That is important. Because now if you didn't move, move to that. Now, look at where my arm is. I don't want to pull my arm back to me. You see what I'm saying, Kenny? So because when you did that, I collapse it and move in a circle, I could actually forget this hand, boom, and come right over. But that takes more skill. If for me to go like this, whack, and just hit you with the same hand, it takes more skill. But if I practice it and he's amped up, he's walking towards me and he's smacked, boom, and I could do that. But now I gotta have fighting skills. Cause now you might be able to take that punch and back up, and now we're like this. So I gotta have fighting skills. So you gotta understand, that's why I said you use the other hand, because boom, now by doing that, I'm here. I can go to the back, or I could come with the other one, and then into the triangle, and engage if he comes here, boom, here, whoop, eyes, rat, right, whoop. Strike if I want to. So it's very important. Now for some of you who are saying, well, what if he comes under? If he comes under, look at this. He opens himself up. If Kenny decides to do that, motion causes motion. So if he comes under, you are in great shape if he comes under. You're looking at him. You're watching it. If he comes under, boom, you're in great shape. He comes under, wham. You're in great shape. Guys, and the worst thing he could do is cross. No, cross the hand, push it, cross. That is the worst thing he could do. That is the worst thing he could do. If I'm checking Kenny, he's walking in, and then he crosses. There you go. That's the worst thing he could do. The second he pushed that hand, I push, I get to his back. And if you, I don't care what art you practice, if you get to a man's back and you can't break him down, you deserve all the beating you're gonna get. Because the easiest thing in the world is push it, smack it, grab it, stomp out the leg, take him to the ground, bang. That is so damn simple. And it's easy to get to because he crossed the hand. Push it. 
That's it. And you're right here. You got all of this. Inside shins, the groin, stomp on the back of the calf, stomp on the calf on the kneecap, stomping on the ankles. All of that is available to you. And it all started from a simple, hey, 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 no, check. Just check and let him do what he's going to do. And you got to understand the follow-up to what he's going to do. Okay? Guys, this is a game of chess. You put a piece in place, you make a move, the man makes a move. He makes a move, you make another move. That's all it is. But understand, you are putting that piece in this position because you want the man to try to take the piece. You want the man to try to avoid the piece. You're doing that move for a reason. So don't ever check and you don't know what your next move is. Don't check not understanding that I'm doing this for a reason. It is a reason is to get, to get him to move. He only got a couple of choices. That way, this way, underneath. That's it. That's it. And you should be able to see it, break it down, and work. Guys, this is called checking. You check it. And you can check it with two hands. So if he comes in here and you check it with two hands, Guys, you know what he's going to do. He's going to go down. And if he goes down, that mm. circular motion, if he goes down, that circular motion, right into his palm, his face, kneecap, elbow, boom, right across. So guys, check him. Check him. Okay? Kenny's going to tell you to check the box right now. Guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button right now, guys. Smash that like button, guys. Turn on notifications, guys, right now. Turn on notifications if you have not, so you'll be able to be alerted to all the new content that we have coming up. Once again, thank you very much for all your support. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace. To another level.